Okay guys, very funny thing. Leo is very, very quiet all day, but he likes Rocky. If he sees Rocky, he gets so excited. And he whistles at him. What do you think? Is he pretty? Now I can't guarantee that Rocky won't be dangerous to Leo, but I know that Leo is like enamored with Rocky whenever he sees him. What happened was Rocky came into the room. He just walked in here. I actually didn't see Rocky and I heard Leo like whistling and excited and he doesn't say much of anything all day. Is Rocky beautiful? Rocky, you have an admirer. <laughs> What do you think? Yeah! Oh, yeah! What do you think, Lee? You like Proud that? birds! Proud birds! Proud birds! Proud birds! Look at it. Okay, so now you see that behavior from Rocky. That's why Rocky doesn't go near any other birds. Kind of a good job that Leo is not flighted. His wings are clipped. No, I did not clip them. All my other birds are flighted except Jersey because she did that to herself. Because if he was to try to fly to Rocky, that would be a very dangerous thing. Just because Rocky is not trustworthy with other birds. So here he goes. He's really excited. You could see in the body language, he wants to fly to Rocky. So now we know that we have to make sure that he is at a safe distance from Rocky. So for those of you who always wonder why I have all the birds with me except Rocky, that's why. <laughs> because Rocky can't run with this flock. But Rocky does have an admirer. Watch this. Rocky proud bird. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Proud bird. You're a good bird. Guys, Rocky's right there. This is Leo's body language. Look at him. This is how he would kind of take flight. Is Rocky pretty? Rocky proud bird. <laughs> yeah, he already knows. Are you a proud bird? Yeah. Do you like Rocky? Rocky's handsome? believe it there's no way I could have caught this on camera because I didn't know it was gonna happen but it's not Leo like I don't know what he was doing he started talking like like he just I don't know how to explain it the water was running and suddenly I heard like this machine talking and it was Leo and I tried to get close to understand what he was saying but like I may have another Vinny on my hands. What are you saying? So maybe he could talk. I have no idea. I'm really excited to discover this. Uh-oh, somebody's on the loose. What are you doing? Yeah, you know, the more we think about it, Leo might be exhibiting some female mating yeah, behavior. Yeah. Did he come to bite you? Yeah. Or step up on you? Both. <laughs> you look like a parrot whisper. Hey, she seems excited. I wonder if she's a girl. We should do a DNA reveal for yeah, Leo. Yeah, we'll DNA test. That's where Leo just nodded. Are you a girl? What? Is that a yes? Wait. Are you a girl? Are you a girl? Are you a female? Are you a female? What is that, a nod? It looks like a yes. Leo has this hidden plucking problem. So what I've been doing to help Leo, same thing I do for Jersey. Obviously Jersey's not 100% recovered and I don't know if she ever will be, but I know she improves when I do these things. So let me just show you guys. I've shown you many times before, but I've been doing this for both Leo and Jersey and actually a lot of the other birds. I put Avicom and Featherific. Among many other things that I do for the birds that pluck, some important things that you could do if you suspect that your bird is plucking or you know your bird is plucking is of course the Avicom, the Featherific, 
sunlight so your bird's getting more vitamin D, a lot of out time foraging toys with cockatoos specifically. A lot of them like to be very involved in toys, putting two things together. I know I've seen some of you on Parrot Station mentioning this and I explained that jerseys exactly the same way. So you have to keep them very occupied. It's very important and of course there's a whole bunch of other reasons for plucking like metal poisoning and toxins. That's a whole different ball game. <laughs> well, I'm gonna call him Mickey. I mean, the only reason why he's a he because he likes the girls more. No, I just call all animals a he until like I figure it you know, out. You're the opposite of your mom. Or wait, no. No. Your mom does the same thing. She always talks about Jersey as if it's a he. Are you kidding me? Dad called Jersey Jason. Jason. He said, "Hey, Jason, come <laughs> here." Jason. He said, "Hey, get Jason. You're and Jason let's go. because you're a J." And then I said, "Hey, Dad, what's my pink bird's name?" He goes, "Eh, not Tony." <laughs> Not Tony. <laughs> like you can get him out of New York, but you can't get New York out of him. Oh, I'm addicted to this sniff. I need my phone. Whoa, my baby. She's so cuddly. I just want to smother her sometimes. Meanwhile, there's Picasso. He's just monitoring the situation. <laughs> when you have like visits with like your your uh, monitor. <laughs> Where, where's Rocky going? I don't know. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, you see cabinets open! Yeah, we need to close the yeah, cabinets. Because if we leave them open, we will attempt to eat them. What are you doing, little monster? Are you doing your Stevie Wonder? Oh, somebody likes your dance. Bye, Leo! Let's take a kiss. Bye!